we have Rufus Deutschler, who is a senior worldwide evangelist with Creative Solutions. Um, he's been at the Adobe for just over a year, and uh, he tells me that he's Swiss and there are no funny stories about him. Uh, so he says he's a very neutral guy. Um, he, his background is actually as a print designer, so he's showing off some technology that was developed by an engineer who won the sneak peeks last year. His name is Shai Abedon, and he actually showed off scene carving, uh, which is now called content-aware scaling, and it was shown in the Photoshop uh, demo this morning. So today, uh, Rufus is going to be showing us uh, infinite images, which is a way to create an, an infinite 3D virtual space out of uh, any number of images, um, any photo collection, and not necessarily all from the same 3D location. Yep, thank you Heidi. Good evening. Uh, how many of you work with images? That should be everyone. Okay, very good. The next project we're working on that I'm going to show you is actually led by Shai Avedon, like Heidi told us. Uh, Shai is the one who developed scene carving. And I like to call this project, they call it infinite images, but I like to call it Shy did it again. Okay? Because he continues to work on these images and develop a system for exploring large collections of photos in a virtual 3D space. The other important thing here is that we semantically um, sorted these images. For example, giving the images the uh, attack, skyline, landscape, people, or street. And then we have a system, an automated uh, GIST system, that creates a generalized search tree on these images. And then what our software does, it creates a 3D navigation system within these images, within impossible images. And it, as a byproduct of that, we can also create larger than normal panoramas. So just a couple of images to show you what we actually do. Let's imagine we have a query image, and once we have that query image, the system looks at similar images in the database, gives us a series of top matches, and then takes the best match to match the image to the gist that we have in the first image. Now imagine if we turn the camera, because we can, we can do that, we can, we can rotate 360 degrees. When we turn the image, the perspective changes, so the whole gist information changes with it. So we query the database again with that new gist information, we have another series of top matches, and then the system selects the best match for that and puts it together. What we then get is a series of images all composited together. Okay? This is for example for a camera translation. So the system automatically aligns these images and composites them together. At the second step, it then creates scenes and masks on these images. And then we get a final product, which is a seamless panorama of similar images. Let me show you a quick movie of, of how this concept works. So we have our large collection of images. We take an initial image, such as this one, and then as we move on with our, with our cursor, we can actually zoom into the image, and the system takes out new images out of the database to create a totally new reality. Thank you. incredible stuff with it. For example, we can image tag to look at the first image and the last image. And then we give the system the first image, and then I rotate my camera to the right a little bit. Okay, oh, and we're in Amsterdam now, and rotate a little bit more, and then I decide, okay, let's move forward, move forward more, oh, and then stop at the image we gave the system as the end. All right, so we can create whole new stories with these images. Let me continue here. Ah, oh, the keyboard works actually. That's another in infinite zoom to, an to another image. So I'm going to zoom in here. Okay. Oh, we're in India now, looking at an elephant. Zoom back and look at what image we chose for our starting image. It's going to be a familiar image. You recognize that? <laughs> yeah. This one is, is kind of crazy, and that's why I asked you all to open your mind to crazy stuff. This is the image we start, all right? So let me start zooming. I'm in panning here, so I'm going to pan to the left. And, okay, so we see the fountain, we see some other part. I'm going to pan back, 
and guess what? We're in a totally different reality. Okay? The image changed because we allowed the system to change the GIST information and select another image. And this is an example of these infinite panoramas we can do. Uh, in the first case, we have panoramas created with images tagged forest. In the second one, tagged graffiti. In the third one, tagged skyline. In the fourth one, tagged people or crowds. Okay? So this system allows us to create infinite images. Thank you.